dördüncü kısıma geldik. <gülüyor> Bad dream? Ugh, how long was I out? I, I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? A thousand, oh. A thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? Ben burada iyiyim. Emre dedi, ne bekliyorsun? Önemsemez. Ben buradayım. I... I think I'm good here. You're lost. Oh. So, uh, murder mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. Years back, there was this killer. Hey, wait! Oh, never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place! You should shoot one of your movies here. Why? Because it's cool as hell! We might as well take a look around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I... Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. Hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, 
After my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Herkesden önce evi ben keşfedeyim bari. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece though. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cut. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Etkileşime gir. Kötülüğün yüzü. Frank Frank Stone'nun gerçek hikayesi. Onu durduran kahraman gözünden Sheriff Lydon Green. Etkileşime girelim. O meşhur gecede memurlardan birini o bölgeyi kolasyon etmeye yollamıştım. Aslında o memur ilk tercih, tercihim olmazdı. Oregon'un dışında gelmişti ve biraz deneyimsizdi. Ama yapması gereken tek şey etrafı kontrol edip şüpheli bir şeyi görürse bana bildirmekti. Tammy aradığında bir şeylerin ters gittiğini anladım. Kazanın önünde dururken kendimi cehennemin dibinde, cibin Cehennemin dibini at, atmış gibi hissettim. Karşımda Stone duruyordu. Taştan bir heykel, heykel gibiydi. Masumiyet abidesi polisini boğazından tutmuş, öldürecekti. İtiraf etmem gerekirse çok korkmuştum. İşte, i̇şte her sarpa sarmadan çok az zaman zamanım vardı. Ben de silahımı çektim, nefesimi tuttum ve merminin yerini bulsun diye dua ettim. <gülüyor> Neyse kapatalım hikayenin yeri kalan. Looks like it opens with a key. Orası anahtarla açılıyormuş. Anahtar bulalım o zaman belki şu kutunun içindedir.
Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Yeah? And what would you... You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, um... <laughs> what do you mean? Like... Bonnie? Perhaps? I've just felt so... like... empty... since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like... That's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Nostaljik. Bunu kimseye söylememiştim. <gülüyor> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. Endişeli. Şiritleri ele geçirmeye çalışıyor olabilir. If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. A healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine? They might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. 
So if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. It's taking them so long. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, you gotta keep it down. I don't want Pony to hear us. Okay, so, we all ready to start this production meeting? We got a heck of a night ahead of us. Hope you're all ready to get a little dirty. Always ready to get a little dirty. That's what I wanna hear. Oh, God. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were... real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. Kuşkulu asıl konuyu kaçırıyorsun. Onaylayıcı. Haklısın diyelim. Hak verelim. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So, let's not fuck it up. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Görev, garajın etrafını araştır ve Linda ile konuş. 
Arkadaşlar kaydı sonlandırıyorum. Garajın etrafını araştıracağız ve Linda ile konuşacağız. Buradan hikayemize devam edeceğiz. Here,